Ladies and gentlemen, this is Amy from San Bowl for Christ Ministry. I'm up really late. The Lord's working on my heart. I'm about to go to bed. I pray that the Lord blesses you all, and I pledge, I pledge a hedge of protection by the precious blood of Jesus Christ against this ministry, the viewers, me, our families, our homes. I rebuke and bind on all. I rebuke and bind on all demonic uh, attacks, all demonic spirits. I cast them into hell in King Jesus Christ's name now forever. I rebuke and bind the human servants. I um, find them forever from harming themselves and others, and I shatter the authority and counsel and strip them of their powers in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Um, I uh, I have a, I have a, uh, a ministry on DailyMotion.com, <clears throat> and I did a teaching about how it's important that you need to read your Bible. If you hear anybody telling you not to read your Bible, that person is of the enemy. So... Um, I left the link below if you want to check out that teaching. It's on dailymotion.com. Okay? Um, there's scriptures backing up that you need to read your Bible. You need to stay and meditate on the Word of God. Otherwise, how are you going to know what is um, a sin and what is not? The um, Bible talks about if you reject knowledge, um, it results in your destruction. I'm paraphrasing, obviously, but in other words, if, if you don't read your Bible, how are you going to know if you're in sin or not without knowing it in the Word first? Because you could be sinning and not even know it, and then, and then you could think that you're okay on your walk. You know, again, we have to evaluate our walk with Christ every time. You could think that you're okay on your walk, and then all of a sudden, God forbid something happens to you, and I'm not, I'm not wishing that on anyone, and then you end up going to hell because you didn't repent of a sin that you didn't know was a sin. I hope that makes sense. So if anybody's telling you not to read your Bible, please don't believe that. That is the that person is void of the Holy Spirit. Okay? We need to stay in the Word. And if they teach you some crazy teaching that, oh, the prophets in the Bible never read their Bible, that's a lie from the pit of hell. Because all over Scripture, even Jesus Christ, always references the Scriptures, which means the Bible. And back then, I believe that... Um, they wrote the scriptures in scrolls or something like that. Okay? I don't know if they had a Bible back then, but I know that they, they wrote the scriptures in scrolls. I'm, I'm pretty sure they had a Bible back then, but I know that it was written in, it was written, um, written in scrolls. Okay? I believe it was written in scrolls, but I know that there was a Bible. Okay? There was scriptures. There was a Bible. Okay? So, please, don't listen to these people. I cannot believe how many people eat this up. You know what I mean? When they hear, when they see someone on a YouTube channel saying, "Don't read your Bible," that's the enemy. That's the enemy. Okay, the enemy is using this person to tell you that because they're hindering your walk. If you don't stay in the Word of God, you know how are you going to discern? You discern by staying in the Word of God and by praying to God. You stay in the Word of God, the Holy Spirit will show you many revelations. You stay in the Word of God. You pray to God, too. The Holy Spirit will teach you many things. That's how you discern if what a person is teaching or what they're saying is aligns with the Word of God or what their so-called vision or prophecy is if it aligns with the Word of God. If it doesn't align with the Word of God, it's not true. So the enemy's trying to put this false teaching out there so you do not read the Word of God so that you are deceived. Okay? Please. Don't don't fall for this. Fall, don't fall for that teaching. So I did a teaching on DailyMotion.com about it, and I left the link below. Check it out, okay? And um, as always, do not trust me, trust no one, trust only Jesus Christ, and take what you hear to the Lord in prayer. And stay reading your Bible. Don't listen to this. Don't listen to it when people tell you don't read the Bible. Please, you have to know. It's common sense that... That's a lie. You have to read the Bible. It's a requirement of God. Just like it's a requirement that we have to preach the gospel. You know, this person was saying, um, I saw this video, someone was saying uh, that salvation didn't have anything to do with the Bible. Something like that. It made no sense. How is it that salvation doesn't have anything to do with the Bible when the Bible tells us how we can get to salvation? By getting baptized, repenting of our sins, confessing and repenting our sins, getting baptized, confessing Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. 
Bible explains that, or how to get to salvation. The Bible explains that. You know, for remission of sins, the Bible explains that. So how how do you get to salvation without staying in the Word? That makes no sense. You know what I'm saying, guys? I mean, come on. Please, you know, don't fall for this deception, you know? I just felt the press on my heart that the Lord, I believe, wanted me to get it out there to you guys. You must read the Word of God. Stay in the Word. Stay in prayer with the Lord. I've exposed false prophets on my channel, guys. Okay? They're still posting videos out, and they were never sent by God. Please. Stay in the word, okay? Because I'm a watchman on the wall exposing prof false prophets, I've lost subscribers, and I I just don't care. I love the saints, but this my ministry is not about how many subscribers I have and how many views I get. I told you that. I just care about getting the word out there, being obedient to the Most High God, and telling you guys to read your Bible and trust only Jesus Christ. God bless. The teaching I did on DailyMotion.com is in the link below.